Another key problem we're trying to solve in Windows is how we shift from one activity or task to another. So we had to invent our own solution for um, enabling applications, existing applications, to run inside of a 3D environment. And we really wanted to bring along um, existing Windows applications and you know, bring along the entire tool set of what you would normally use in your day-to-day -day life if you're already using a computer um, so that you end up with a 3D environment that's actually productively useful. The main thing I'm trying to figure out is what kind of a visual metaphor we can use to make this space feel like a place that these people want to use. On any given morning in our Information Age office, we may have several different projects going on on the computer. Each task may involve several documents in different applications. To switch tasks, we have to hustle. We close some windows, open or resize others, and go burrowing through the heap of information we have not so conveniently stored on the computer's hard drive. It's time to start thinking about another way to help users cope with the ever-increasing volume of information that they have to manipulate in the course of an ordinary day. Our new Task Gallery 3D Window Manager extends the desktop metaphor and tailors it to the way our own minds work to identify and track objects in physical space. The screen becomes a room for the user to work in, a long gallery with paintings on the walls that represent different tasks. Placement of tasks in the gallery takes advantage of human spatial memory. The active task takes center stage on a platform at the end of the room and other tasks are shunted to the periphery. The user can arrange the tasks any way she wants, and the system will remember where she left them. Switching between tasks is a quick and simple matter of moving back down the gallery to see more tasks. Now the user can select the right one. In the user's virtual left hand is a palette that contains frequently used applications and favored documents. Users can freely arrange and group items on the palette to suit their own working style. The user creates a new task. She then selects a background to help her remember which one it is. She then picks documents and applications from the palette to associate with that task. Instead of confusable and hard to learn icons, open documents and running applications are shown as snapshots, small versions of their actual appearance. In this friendly environment, finding a document in a hurry is easy. Looking at multiple documents at the same time is as easy to do in the task gallery as it is in physical space. Instead of fussing with moving and resizing windows, the user can just select a few documents and the system automatically lays them out side by side, scaling them to fit. The user can move the application windows within the selected task like the cards in a Salatar game, bringing them to the front to work on them or back to sit with others on an ordered stack where they are clearly visible for easy retrieval later. The movements are accompanied by sounds, and together they create the illusion of an object moving through space. The untrained user can easily become confused and disoriented when confronted with a virtual 3D environment that allows freeform navigation. To combat this effect, we use simple controls and constrain movement to a series of set vantage points. The user can choose between on-screen mouse controls or keyboard commands. It's impossible to get lost in the task gallery. Our psychologists ran user studies to see whether the task gallery successfully engaged the knowledge and abilities people use to navigate physical space. Study participants told them that it seemed more natural to them to place tasks on the walls of the gallery rather than on the floor or ceiling. This suggests that people feel compelled to treat the gallery like a real-world environment rather than just as an interesting desktop theme. The task gallery interface runs on off-the-shelf PCs with a consumer-grade 3D graphics accelerator. We are using a modified version of Windows 2000 to allow applications to run in the task gallery by fooling them into thinking they are running normally. What is really happening is that visuals for applications are actually rendered in an off-screen bitmap, which is then texture mapped onto polygons in a 3D environment. Mouse and keyboard interactions in the 3D environment are redirected back to the particular application in use, which in turn sends updates that are then used to regenerate the texture maps on the fly. This clever solution allows our system to use any existing Windows application in a 3D environment without modification to the application. As we move forward, we will extend our design by exploring additional visual metaphors and other high-level interaction techniques. These lessons will help inform future versions of the Windows user interface.